It's been over 10 years since Wrong Turn hit theatres and the franchise has had its fair share of ups and downs and you, you might not take well to all the, the installments of the franchise but for sure it's, it's definitely one of the more violent slasher films or franchises I should say and if you haven't seen the film uh, I'll just kind of fill you in on the plot and this kind of makes sense for almost every other film. Uh, a couple of friends are traveling through America and the car breaks down. They get stranded in a forest in West Virginia and unfortunately for them they're not alone. They discover they're being stalked by a horde of backwoods cannibals and the woodsmen are hungry and fierce and they'll be eating well. Now, I like to think of this franchise as my guilty pleasure. It's really refreshing to go back and watch them after a while not seeing it. Like, I do prefer the first four films, you know, the, the fifth and sixth one. Uh, I don't like them all too much, but of course it's, it's, it's my opinion. You, you might feel different yourself, but as someone who loved the first few films when I was getting into the franchise, I knew I had to watch them all and uh, I'm not disappointed in any way. It's just... I wouldn't be too excited if someone said, oh, we're going to watch Wrong Turn 5 and 6 right now. I wouldn't really care, you know, it's just not that good. Wrong Turn first debuted in 2003, and since then, it seems like fans can't really get enough of these cannibals. And it's essentially The Hills Have Eyes if The Hills Had Eyes in the Woods. Now, I like to think that this franchise is a pretty good definition of a true slasher film. And you're probably thinking now, just get to the point, we want to talk about the remake. Well. Okay, yeah, it's inevitable for, for any franchise to get rebooted. We all know the story, we all know how it goes. Horror movies are just, they happen to be rebooted after like so many years of being dormant. Now, Wrong Turn happens to be one of those franchises and it seems as if years went by with, with no word of Wrong Turn 7 until we discovered that they're planning the reboot. Now, all this talk about the reboot came out in, in October of last year. It's still weird saying last year for 2018, but October of 2018. And it, it is weird though because in 2017, if I remember correctly, in May, um, a, a, an apparent uh, official Wrong Turn 7 Facebook page posted or replied to a comment saying that uh, they had the script finished and they're getting ready to go into production by the end of 2017. And then all of a sudden, at the end of 2018, there's a reboot coming. So it really is odd to say the least. They could have been talking about the same script they have for the reboot for Wrong Turn 7 or it could have been a fake page that um, was just talking complete nonsense. Because it is kind of, you can't say like, oh yeah, we're gonna make this movie in this new year without giving a whole lot of information, and then there's a chance that this franchise will actually make a movie if it's been so many years since they actually made one, that you can be right, essentially. There's a chance you're right if you say it. But of course, I wouldn't say, like, guaranteed to be right. It's a small chance you could be. Um, but look, it looks like the company behind the, the film is Constant in Films. Constant in Films, I can't say it. Uh, they're actually the same company behind the original film and the screenwriter is the same guy who wrote the script for the first film. Now, um, apparently the script is said to be like this, a timely and topical meditation on society and its issues and a cross-country hiking expedition puts a group of friends in the land of an inclusive society where they soon discover that they are under a different rule of law and may not be the victims they thought they were. Now, aside from the fact that Wrong Turn is listed on IMDb, we don't really have much to go off and it's quite possible that this film could kind of just slip under the radar and downright disappear. It wouldn't really surprise me as it wouldn't be the first film to not see the light of day. Uh, you know how it goes, sometimes movies are set to come out but they never do. You never know, there's not a whole lot of information to go off with this film so we don't really know. Here's what we know so far. Um, Constantin Films Robert Colzer will produce the film and Martin Mozkowix will executive produce. Uh, and the producer said Alan's reinterpretation of his own work and Mike's vision are a frightening reflection on our world today. One person's American dream is another man's worst nightmare. Now, I have no idea what that could be. Um, it might be political. It sounds kind of like it could be sort of politi political. I can't even say the word. It could be anything at this point. Now, here's a fun little fact for you. The guy who actually wrote the script for the film is actually the same man who wrote the script for Halloween 4, The Return of Michael Myers, Spawn, and five of the other wrong turn films. Now, it could be six of the films, I don't know if, I think it was Wrong Turn 5, he didn't write the script for it. I didn't see that one when I was looking up uh, all this information. Uh, and John Papsidera, who's known for casting for the likes of Jurassic World, Dunkirk, and many other films, will also be casting for this movie. Now, the last Wrong Turn movie came out in 2014, so it is fair to say that this day was kind of inevitable, and honestly, I'm surprised it didn't come sooner. Aside from this, there's really no news about the film. Any supposed trailers you see on YouTube for Wrong Turn 7 2019 are complete crap. Nothing aside from this news is out right now. Plus, we already know it's a remake, it's not going to be Wrong Turn 7. If you were to ask me, Dylan, what's your prediction for the film? Uh, my prediction is that by the end of the year, we'll either get news that the film has been cancelled, or they'll drop a trailer. I'd say maybe October is when we might see something. Uh, aside from that, I will keep you updated as much as I can. It's just, 
With these films, you never know because it's a classic film. Like, if you ask if someone's seen Wrong Turn if they're a horror fan, more than likely they have. And, you know, their views in, on, on the franchise might be a bit messed up because, I guess, towards the end, they got a bit weird. But the first few films, I think one, two, and three, are probably the best in the franchise. And they are classic, so I don't know. I'm hoping for a reboot. I think they can do it. With the success of Halloween, fuck, man. A any reboot is pretty much possible at this point in time, so... Uh, I'm going to leave you with that one. Think for a while. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I know not everyone's a fan of the film. I I'll put it that way. Like, we're not all big fans of the film, but I think as someone who is a fan, I'm excited for it. You know, any horror movie that's coming out in the future, I'm excited for it because, because it has the chance to be good. So, fuck it. If it's going to be bad, it's just another bad film. It, it makes no difference to me. Uh, anyway, I'm going to end you with that one. I'll leave you with that thought. Uh, let me know in the comments below what you think, though. And, uh, yeah, take care.